Hey Cobra people, this is Nick from Acton Custom. Uh, we've made a few sets of side curtains for the uh, soft and hard top cars here. Uh, we've, with sending them back and forth in the mail and sending back our, our fixturing and our tooling and that kind of thing, um, we've reached the point where we can send out a fairly comprehensive kit set for people to assemble it right to their cars. So the first thing when you're getting ready to uh, set your car up with side curtains is to have the car all set up with all the lifter dots installed, all the lifter dot posts installed and the ones on the back are for the soft tops, the ones across the front are for the tonneau covers. Um, but once we've got the car all put together, we've got the lifter dots in place for the soft top We've got the windshield at the correct angle and the soft top fitted up to the car. Now we have an opening on the side of the car generated by the soft top, the windshield frame and the top of the door. So at that point we can make ourselves a pattern or a template to fit against the back edge of the windshield and you can see this was made from a different car with a different windshield angle because it's got a gap at the top here and so this template was made to fit a different car and we don't want it going all the way to the end of the door with our side curtains we want to have a bit of a gap here and you'll see why when we go over the parts that make up the side curtain kit so at that point we've got our soft top fitted we've made up a pattern for the opening the opening on the side of the cars has got a little reveal and a little seal on the inside of it. Um, we may take a look at a soft top which mine is out being sewn right now. Uh, at that point we're ready to start building from the base up the soft top or the uh, side curtain assemblies. So I've got here the uh, angled piece for the front for this side. Um, you're going to want to mask your car and protect your car obviously. Um, so this bottom rail is made to length and probably an inch short of the back end of the car and we can chop this channel off and we can very accurately and carefully lay out these pins, the three pins that drop into the ferrules on the door. Um, once those have been positioned accordingly, one at a time, um, and made to align with the car, we've got this bottom rail built, cut to length, and we're ready to build the rest of the side curtains around it. Let's take a look at how all the side curtain pieces go together. So you'll have a frame with the three pins welded to the bottom of it. When I'm welding the pins to the bottom channel, I will drill a hole, um, these are 3 8 pins, so I probably drill like a, a uh, 3 8 I probably drill like a quarter inch hole through the bottom of the channel and I'm positioning these and then I'm plug welding through from the other side and smoothing it off. So that'll be how we uh, position and attach the pins to the bottom channel. Uh, from there, we can use our pattern, we can literally build our side curtain on top of this pattern. So, we can put the channel on the bottom, we can take a top channel, and we can line that up to it. That can be cut off, flush with the bottom of the channel. The front of the pattern gets an angle cut there. Um, this piece gets cut out and then the flap on the front gets folded down to cap the front edge of that channel. And so that's the top and bottom of it. Let's keep going assembling parts on this thing so you can see how they go together. The, we have a channel here that is made to length and so that will be trimmed 
and that will get positioned accordingly and then that gets welded to this. This is the front window that goes on the outside the outside of the side curtain frame so that goes on the outside something like that and then we have a spacer that fits and gets upholstered on the inside of that. Can you show me the spacer please? Sure. And you've obviously realized at this point that my lovely assistant is running the camera for us. So that's what the spacer looks like and that's going to fit on the inside of that frame just there and this front window is going to be on the outside of the frame. Um, that spacer, like I said, does double duty here where it spaces that window inside the bottom channel. It also acts as a stop for our back window, right? So when that slides, that's going to hit against that spacer and it's going to stop it sliding any further forward. Um, because the back window, well, because the front window is on the outside, the back window goes on the inside, and this also gets a spacer that would come up inside here to space it behind this channel, so that now we've got a space on the back side of this to act as a slide for the back window. Um... Last piece of this puzzle from what I have laid out on the table here. So we left about an inch gap from the edge of the door where we've cut, cut off the bottom channel. Um, this piece gets riveted to the back of the top channel and this piece gets trimmed to fit the inside shape of our pattern that we made. So the frame is going to finish up like that inside our pattern. This gets riveted onto the back of that channel and then this piece gets trimmed to fit to fill out the back of the opening. Um, this is something specific to making the side curtains fit a soft top. The hard top had a rigid um, framed side curtain that did not have this piece on the back to adjust it because obviously that hard top was made in a hard mold with the profile already formed into it here. Um, so that piece gets riveted on and trimmed back when you're finished to fit the opening and all of this stuff gets upholstered when we're done um, so the frame of the whole side curtain gets upholstered there is an example of the cover for the bottom part of the frame the bottom channel you can see it's got holes in it for the pins to slip over it. When we're upholstering this, it would be easy to upholster it and have it sticking out like that, but that doesn't work very well on uh, in practice on the car. So when we're upholstering it, something like this, the bottom flap or the bottom seal should be attached so that it's sticking straight down so that when you put the door, you drop it down into the door, that's going to push up against it and have some kind of an effective seal against it. Um, so, I'm trying to think if I've missed any other salient points on assembling these side curtains. Uh, the kit also comes with a selection of patterns and that kind of thing. It has a flock covered channel, and so that is what goes inside this channel, and we slice it to do half of it on the uh, top edge of it here um, and that is what this back window slides in it's a full channel on the bottom 
it's a half channel on the top because one side of it is riding against the upholstered top channel. Um, so there's all the pieces of a side curtain, some assembly required. Um, and I just wanted to show you before I put this kit set in the mail to a customer, uh, the pieces and give you the general idea of how they go together. Um, so there's the uh, kit set of a set of side curtains to fit up to the Cobras. Uh, thanks for your attention and we will give more information on this as it comes to mind. All right, I just watched my video and I wanted to mention a couple of other things that I omitted. Um, so when this has been made and trimmed and assembled and this has been capped off at the front and this bottom frame is all put together and this is welded to it. So we have a frame already. These two pieces will get upholstered separately. Um, and then at this point, this is ready to fit up our um, side windows into this frame. So this front window is pretty much made slightly undersized to fit inside this framework. Um, this back window is made quite a bit undersized to allow for the track at the top and the track at the bottom um, because they take up some room on these things. Uh, I have seen setups on a Cobra where this isn't necessarily parallel. Um, so when you slide this window forward, it can fall out of the frame or it doesn't want to slide back because it's they're not parallel. So it's important when you're setting this up in the car that the top and bottom tracker or the top and bottom channel are parallel to each other. Um, these pieces get um, upholstered as assemblies and they get riveted, uh, pop riveted back together when we're all done. Um, we pop rivet this channel to that channel. We pop rivet this channel to this. And we pop rivet this channel right through that front window. And we rivet right through the bottom channel through the front window. Um, so the thing is all assembled with rivets when we're done. Um, that's all I can think of. Uh, if you need help with it, um, if you get the pieces made and you need them to be upholstered, um, our upholstery guy does a heck of a nice job on that. Um, once the frame is made, if you need help putting together the slider window for it or the fixed window for the front, um, give us a holler with any of that because we, we carry our products through to um, a finished item that you can use on the car. That's all I can think of after watching my first video. We'll add this to the as the second one.